Now, leaders across Idaho are reacting to the Supreme Court ruling. The opinions range from major support to extreme criticism. And our chief political reporter, Joe Paris, joins us now. And Joe, I know you spoke with a lot of lawmakers today. What's the reaction? Yeah, there's a lot of reactions across the state and across the country right now. Of course, here, almost every person in Idaho politics that I talked to today, they tell me that the SCOTUS decision is not shocking today, especially after there was a leaked draft opinion back in May. This was the expected result from most. As we've touched on, the Supreme Court court decision activates an Idaho law that effectively bans abortion. And there are exceptions in the Idaho law for cases of rape and incest. Some other states do not have that same protection. And Majority Caucus Chair Republican Megan Blanksma, she drafted the 2020 law that Governor Little signed off on in 2020. Now that law will go into effect, we understand, in August, and we'll explain that a little bit later on. But Blanksma and other Idaho Republicans are celebrating the decision by the Supreme Court, but they know the new law comes with side effects. For example, there will be women who give birth to children that they are not prepared to have, financially or otherwise. Blanksma says there needs to be an effort to take care of children and mothers with existing programs, as well as new or expanded efforts. What we need to do going forward is to focus on the trigger law and focus on providing additional support to women. And, and not only support to women, but we also need to address the other half of the equation of what about these fathers and figure out how to address that, try to keep families whole where we can, but make sure that the children that are born are supported by both parents and not just the mother. Idaho Democrats held a press conference today at the Idaho State House to speak out on the Supreme Court decision and the future of Idaho. Both Idaho Senators Melissa Wintrow and Representative Alana Rubel say that they feel the country is turning the clock back, taking rights away from women that were protected for nearly 50 years. Dems are concentrating now on pushing back on the ruling as well as helping Idaho women who might find themselves in a difficult situation, seeking an abortion in a state where it will be illegal. Now, many at the event today told me that there is no silver lining to today, but Representative Rubel says the crowd supporting them there is encouraging. I think we all need to know we're not standing alone at a time like this. You know, it's a very overwhelming time. I think people can succumb to despair, and women, especially at a time like this, can really feel like they are living now in a country where they are second class citizens. And I think it was very important to have that camaraderie and know that the fight is not over, that there are people who do not think you're second class citizens and who are ready to work to restore you to your full place in this world. <laughs> Governor Little put out a statement shortly after the Supreme Court ruling. He said in part, and we'll try to get through all this, today's decision is the culmination of pro-life efforts to defend the defenseless, pre-born babies who deserve protection. It also is an affirmation of states' rights, a fundamental aspect of our American government. The governor continues, quote, however, we fully acknowledge that this monumental moment in our country's history means we must confront what, uh, what we know will be growing needs from women and families in the months and years ahead. We absolutely must come together like never before to support women and teens facing unwanted, uh, unexpected or unwanted pregnancies. Families, churches, charities, and local and state government must stand ready to lift them up and help them and their families with access to adoption services, health care, financial and food assistance, counseling and treatment as well as family planning. There is a lot that will happen in the next 30 and 60 days on a variety of angles on this topic. Long story short, uh, there's many that thought that today started the 30-day countdown for the law going into effect. We understand now from the Idaho Attorney General's office, it will go effect in August. There's a 30-day waiting period before the actual judgment will come out. So sure, uh, a lot to talk about, but uh, we know that we have all the latest and all the greatest right now at KTVB.com. If you're looking to get your questions answered and we didn't get that here, our website will have that info for you. Yeah, a lot of reactions pouring in and a lot of questions though as this yeah. was pouring in as well. So thank you for staying on top of that for us.